Up in the ring, we have Boyd Pierce and a whole host of people, so let's pick them up. This event, all th six members of the six-man team matches in the ring. We'll have a coin flip to see which man on each team represents their team as a captain in a captain's match. Bronco Lubitsch. Well, the referee is flipping a coin. We have Gary Hart and we have the three Von Erichs gather it around, and uh, he picks Maniac Mark Lewin to Playboy represent Gary Hart, team you did Maniac Mark Lewin. in a captain's match. And now, over in the corner, we have the three Von Erich boys who are talking over who is going to be facing... Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> They're just putting fingers out there and eliminating the odd man. I don't, I don't know. I don't... I don't know who got uh, who. It's David. Cross David the ring, is going to do the it. captain of the Von Erichs, David Von Erich. All right. One so fall, 15 minute time limit. To have this one fall, 15 minute time limit between the captain of the Von Erichs, that's David, he's the oldest, and maniac Mark Lewin, who will take on David. The time limit in this match is 15 minutes or less. It's a one fall match. We are having some problems with the sound system here in the Sam Houston Coliseum. We hope it's not finding its its way here into the um, sound system of Channel 39. So David Von Erich representing his two brothers, and there has been a call for the Von Eriks to find their way back to the dressing room. It looks like the spoiler has left for the dressing room. And the two Von Erich boys, they leave David and Mark, but they also leave Gary Hart at ringside. Now Hart is going to be involved in the six-man match that is to follow this event as as a contestant so the but he is assuming his managerial role here in this event prior to the prior to the six man match Mark Lewin twisting arm lock This mark and a great shot as our director Ed Worthington has the cameraman zoom in there to pick him up and I'll tell you this this man is an am amazing physical specimen he's powerful and he knows what to do with the power that he has he has a unique style of wrestling and of course the fans bug him with their barking tactics, but mainly it's because he himself is um, always emitting sounds, which are a great help in, in applying the uh, type of strength that he uses. Most any man can tell you when he exercises, he, he makes the same kind of noises, but he uh, just doesn't admit it. Surfboard hold for David Von Erich. David, former All-State in basketball, but wrestling is the sport that he has been in since he was just a youngster. And his two brothers, much the same stripe as David, kids who have literally worked their way into giant size and muscle and determination and in this particular case you need it against a fellow like Mark Lewin so Lewin now is caught in a twisting arm lock an arm bar a twisting arm bar and as he turns that he keeps the elbow straight keeps pouring it to him 
Lewin the man down. And he goes after the grip under the arm, tries to catch a sensitive area, and he pours it in there. He, he's working with both hands under that left arm of David Von Erich, trying to apply the pressure and make the arm itself uh, make the arm itself impossible to use. And I'm just looking to see exactly what I could see from uh, without looking at the television monitor. And I can see that he has got a powerful grip on there and you get a, you get the right place and you feel it right down into the into the fingertips. So David Von Erich is having his problems. The, uh, his own arm, he, he was working on the arm of of Lewin, but Lewin is working right up tight against the shoulder. He's got the arm straightened out and the pressure put on it and the efforts now of David Von Erich as he comes up to his feet are, are mostly survival as he tries to ward off the efforts of Mark Lewin. Lewin with those chops of his has a, Danny McShane has just bobbed up in, um, uh, at ringside. He is, he came down here with all six people, but he has stayed at ringside to watch the match. And as Gary Hart started to rise to his feet, McShane suspected his intentions and made him sit down again. First hand Danny has had all night. They, the fans applauded his efforts. So Lewin knows a good thing when he sees it, and he knows that he has had some effect on, on David Von Erich. He intends to follow up on his success. David destroying Mark's balance here by heisting up on that leg, but with the back up against the ropes, we've got David in tight trouble still against the arm but he is free right now this could help him if he can get something started against Lewin but he's got to mount his own offensive in order to put a stop to the bull-like rushes of Lewin. Lewin's outside the ring now and I meant bull-like rushes that is exactly what I had in mind. He, he's not the kind of a guy who gives his opponent the opportunity to recover from anything that he does. Outside, David, inside trouble. Mark Lewin, ready and waiting. Well, that'll help. He can still hit with that right if he can't move the left, and he's going to have to separate Lewin from his intentions. So David starts to move in, and Lewin melts away. Gary Hart on the outside of the ring, again, reaching over there, and he's not just interested in shaking hands with Mark Lewin. His efforts again with Mark Lewin have infuriated fans here because he is obviously sneaking something. Front headlock for Mark Lewin. And David Von Erich on his knees is in a tough spot. First it was the arm, then it was the head, but you can see that the upper part of the body is catching all of the flack from the attack of the maniac. It could be a strangle. We can't call it a strangle because from where we sit, it's impossible to see it. The referee is closer and he can't call it a strangle because of what's covering the body of David Von Erich.
So Lubitsch looks closely, and Lewin tries to take advantage of the change in position to bear down on, on David. Still a front headlock, and Lewin, that crowding, maneuvering individual, bull-like is a good word for him because that's exactly the way he moves in on the man. And David that time threw his right hand because that's the one that's been functioning better, but maybe that left now may be getting some of the circulation back in it and start to recover. David's in trouble. This could be it. David holds the Texas State Heavyweight title, but it is not at stake in this match. This is a 15 minute time limit match. And Lewin again, covering up his nose and his mouth. And David has not been able to mount an offensive against, against Lewin. Lewin is catching him, but he is doing something about it, and he is able to absorb the punishment. And Lewin smashed into the top turnbuckle that time, and he, he, got, a, he got a lot of uh, territory covered as he blasted in there, but David Von Erich, as he moves in, tries to capitalize on it, and we'll have to see whether or not he can. Oh, man. They smashed into each other, and Lewin goes caught in the face. Gary Hart trying to help from the outside. Things like that help. In behind with a sleep hole, David Von Erich, his favorite hole, one that he applies well. And Lewin came back with an elbow that time and drove the elbow into the body of David Von Erich. And Lewin looks just a little bit the worse for wear for the first time in this match. Lewin did the headbutting, but it also reacted on Lewin. He overestimated what he could do with that head against the youngster. Oh, man. It's a front headlock. And as he pours it to him, he lifts up on it. He bends down on the back of the head. And David now is trying to get into a better position and screaming for David to come on. There are three minutes to go. And David's making a nice comeback now. That is his best sustained effort of, of the night as far as punishment goes. And the fans scream for him to lay it in there, which he does. He's trying to set Lewin up. And Lewin goes for the sleep hole. And remember that Lewin has a version of the sleep hole that he calls the Shanghai Sleeper. And he now has David in a spot where this could be the end of the match. It doesn't take long to produce unconsciousness. The fans are screaming now for David, and he managed to fight his way out of it. And he's got his own hole. There are two minutes remaining as he caught that turnbuckle.
driving blow right on the top of the head. And Lua now looks for an opportunity to get in there again. Hold full Nelson. Lewin was going to bang his head down on the top turnbuckle, but instead you saw those long legs of David Von Erich reach out and find a place to push, and push he did. There are 60 seconds remaining in this match as David Von Erich now starts to try to even the score. So Lewin, I don't think was intending to throw in the towel. The towel came in and Lewin dried his hand on it, which could of course have been of some help to him. He's got him right by the trapezius muscles, a half a minute to go. This is the captain's match. A six-man tag team event is due to follow here at the San Houston Coliseum. And Lewin tried the drop kick, and he hurt his shoulder on the way down. There is a sleep hole. This could be it. And there is the bell. And time has run out as Gary Hart comes in and clobbers David Von Erich to make this match here and, and they're screaming for David and David's brothers Kevin and Kerry and here come the Von Erich army to start into action on behalf of their brother David. Kevin and Kerry come charging down there like gangbusters and really The match was a draw, but there you have the Von Erich brothers united. We'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio. On the outside of the ring, the three-man team of Captain Maniac Mark Lewin, the mass baller, and playboy Gary Hart. Across the ring, the fabulous Von Erich brothers, Captain David and his brothers, Kevin and Kerry. Two referees, Danny McShane and Bronco Olivier. There's the Von Erich clan, David, Kerry, and Kevin. And this is a six-man tag match. One man from each team in the ring at, the, at a time. And, of course, it should produce frequent tagging. And with Gary Hart in the opposite corner with two tough people... Uh, uh, on his team, you can bet that he's going to be solidly behind them. We've got the Von Erich brothers right now coming across that ring to tell Hart exactly what they what they think of him. And Hart has gone behind the ring post in order to um, to find safety. So David has just finished a 15-minute captain's match with maniac Mark Lewin. He is stepping outside the ring. Staying in the ring is Kevin Von Erich and the spoiler. So outside we've got maniac Mark Lewin and Gary Hart. So Kevin, the one without the mask, but he's also a guy with a tremendous build and... Uh, a great spark when he's in that ring. So, outside, Maniac Mark Lewin, who goes to lend a hand, and quickly, the Von Erichs come around there to sh show their support of Brother Kevin. Gary Hart, outside, trying to set him up. Danny McShane's trying to get the Von Erichs out of the ring. That leaves Lubitsch to take care of this corner by himself. And the aerial work of the spoiler who tackles Kevin from the top, gets underneath his chin and on the throat, pours it to him. The maniac on the outside is walking up and down on the Coliseum floor and now 
There you see what he's, why he is walking up and down on the Coliseum floor. Here comes David, a foot race around the ring now, and Kerry joined it. We've got people in the ring, and David, with an explosive temper, chased Maniac with a chair. So, spoiler goes to lay it in there, and we've got Kevin Von Erich having caught the 270 pounds of spoiler on the chest and neck and face is not in an enviable position at this moment. So Maniac in behind. He's using a chin lock. He is grabbed onto the head and face of uh, Kevin Von Erich. You see him now as he tries to twist it and Kevin keeps moving, trying to destroy the ability of, of Lewin to hang on to him. And here is a touch and in comes David. And David is ready, willing and anxious to get after the Maniac, he's had a great warm-up period against him, but he gets after Gary Hart, and here come the Von Erichs, just as surely as the rain follows the clouds. And David, again, trying to take on three men, and here come, comes the army, splashing all over the place, taking, stepping in there against Maniac Mark Lewin, now we've got... We've got David cheering his brother, Kevin. Kerry has not yet been in the ring, except for these forays in support of his brother. And that's Lewin, driving with a fist, driving with the knee, or driving with the, with the foot. Sleep hold. And here come the Von Erichs again now to try to give Brother David a chance to apply his, um, his sleep hold and put Maniac Mark Lewin to sleep. Now the fortunes have changed and it's Lewin who takes a front headlock and then turns it over. Ooh. Turns it over to the spoiler and they gang up on David while they argue with referees Danny McShane and Rocco Lubitsch. Lewin belongs out inside as spoiler, works on the chin lock on David. He tries to either let him use enough energy to get close, and that's an old trick. He just let him go as far as he wanted to and then twisted him around. You've got David doing the free swinging right from his knees. Five minutes have gone by. There's a touch, and in comes Kerry, and Kerry gets up there with that drop kick and finds his mark. Kerry Von Eric, the youngest of the clan, going for a pin. There's one. He didn't make the pin. He just got the count of one, and Kevin came in there to try to go on guard, but uh, nobody on guard there. That was the way to cut him down and to give Spoiler the opportunity he was looking for. Kerry in the corner. Spoiler now trying to leave a piece of him there by using that top part of the rope as a garroting tool. Kerry's still in. He's got to get over to the corner if he wants to touch. Spoiler trying to make sure that he doesn't. And Kevin doing the long haul there to
Clubberham. Lewin's in for he's in legally, David is in illegally, but now you've got everybody in there except You've got Gary Hart too, and Hart is being clobbered right above us by Kevin Von Erich. And spoiler has Kerry. David is outside now, trying to get a hold of his brother. But young Kerry is caught by spoiler and is being clobbered by, by Lewin. This is the first fall. No falls have been scored yet in this six man tag team event. And Lewin has him literally by the ears. And there's a touch. And in comes David. And in comes Kevin. And David is the man who scored the touch. Oh, they clothesline. David, David's on top, Lewin scoring the pin. There's the fall. The first fall in this event, the first fall goes to the team of Hart, and Spoiler, and Maniac. We'll be back here in a moment, right after we have this word from the studio. All right, let's get down to business in the second fall of this match. The team of Kerry and Kevin and David Von Erich are fall behind. And Miniac, Mark Lewin, the man in the ring for his team. Lewin, a tough customer. Kevin, a young man who has a great future in wrestling. If a guy like Lewin doesn't end it, for him. Side headlock and it's counted immediately by a head scissor and in comes David Von Erich and the two Von Erich brothers hang on to Mark and set him up for, for David to take over. He got it right over the top of his shoulder and caught him with a foot in the head. And in comes the Spoiler. Spoiler likes to tower over his opponents. He can't tower over David Von Erich. He can't tower over him. He cuts him down to size. And as he blasts away at David, you see what he is accomplishing here. David now trying to make a tough on Spoiler as Spoiler maneuvers, and oh, he caught him nicely. Oh, what good drop kick. Excellent. And the Von Erics again spring to each other's defense. Both the boys put their knees in the ring that time to form an inside the ring ring post for Spoiler to be driven into. That's Kerry inside doing the pounding. And... Now he has a twisting arm lock on, on the spoiler. Kerry is smart, staying close to his to the corner and keeping spoiler over there too, which is the first time in this match that they have been able to accomplish this to get these fellows away from their own corner. And now Kerry, inexperienced to a sense, at least he is the least experienced man in the ring there, but uh, not exactly inexperienced. But he threw Spoiler into the wrong corner, he threw him into his own corner, when a neutral corner would have accomplished a similar purpose. Spoiler doing the pounding. And oh, how he 
how he pounds. David Manning. And he found a ring post in the center of the ring because running into maniac Mark Lewin accomplished his purpose. Sleep hole, spoiler is caught. And Gary Hart trying to set up some confusion to get into the ring to get people doing something besides watching what uh, Spoiler and Mark Lewin were doing. So Lewin comes in and Lewin starts to work on David Von Erich. I'll tell you, it's hard to keep up with everything that takes place in a six-man match or a four-man match or a two-man match. Lewin drove that head butt into the side of David Von Erich's head and again David has a long arm. He lays those blows in from, from a distance. On top, David Von Erich. There's one. And he's pounding away, trying to open a cut on Maniac Mark Lewin. This could be the best break they've had in throwing him over to the corner and we've got cooperation between the Von Erich boys and Gary Hart orders Spoiler into the ring to come to Lewin's aid and it didn't quite uh, work out that way. Hart has not yet been in the ring legally, not yet. Lewin is trying to Give him an opportunity to come in that time, and here is David diving for a cover. He's got it. Spoiler came in, but the equalizing fall has been scored by David Von Erich. The Von Erich brothers, Kevin, David, and Gary. So the Von Erich brothers pull up even with the team of Hart and spoiler and the maniac and we tell you that we'll be, be back here in a moment we'll have more action for you after we have this word from the studio there goes the bell for the third and deciding fall of this six-man tag team match here at the coliseum in san in houston texas it is the sam houston coliseum we might remind you of that but we start off with maniac mark lewin and young Kerry Von Erich. In comes Kevin, trying to keep his brother from being dragged over into the corner. And, and the fans are hollering, we want Hart, we want Hart. And Hart is trying to quiet them. I think that both Maniac and Spoiler are aware that Hart has not been in that ring yet. There is no law that says he has to go in there. He has, right now, gone through two falls and has not yet made his appearance in, in the ring. Kevin and, and David on the outside did not get to touch hands with their brother. Here comes Kevin. Legal touch. Spoiler backing up Maniac. And Kevin trying to rabbit punch the Maniac. And, uh, I'll tell you, this boy Kevin is a picture of a drop kicker. He gets up in the air in magnificent fashion and generally finds his mark and finds it well. So Hart is looking for an opponent like a vulture. He, wa he wants somebody who can't come back at him. He is evidently not in a mood to, to battle here. Here, here, here tonight, but the spoiler and Lewin can carry their end of the effort in exceptionally great fashion. David now pursuing spoiler and trying to take some of that power out of him. Spoiler has his own tricks, and there, there was a missed hold by David Von Erich. He tried to whirl the spoiler, spoiler around 
and he was unable to do it because the spoiler suddenly was able to snatch that hand loose. He's going for the stomach claw. Hart has not accepted the bid to, to come into, into the ring. And here is the maniac. The maniac with the Shanghai sleeper and Hart urging him, urging him to go after David Von Erich. He's giving the orders. He hasn't come in to do anything about it, but he has given the orders. And as now here comes Hart. He figures David is out. And Hart takes over on uh, on David. Trouble for the Von Erich clan as the vulture grabs hold of his prey and pounds David. That Shanghai sleeper, the way he applies it is a tough, um, tough grip. And now the two Von Erichs now are pulling a strategy. They are fighting with Spoiler and Lewin off on the floor, and David has hard up into the ring. David Von Erich has Gary Hart up in the ring, and Hart is looking for somebody to touch, and nobody to touch. There's nobody in the corner. And David has Hart up there where he can't grab anybody, and he's got the sleep hold on Gary Hart. Gary Hart caught in the sleep hold of David Von Erich, and here comes Maniac Mark Lewin being pushed out of the ring, but Gary steps in there to take care of him, and we may have a fall. We may have a fall. We've got a fall. The winner, Gary Hart, was outfoxed by the Von Erich trio. There's the Von Erich clan. They kept the spoiler and the maniac busy on the outside. And Gary Hart tried to touch. He found nobody in the corner. And he came out of the match a loser. He went in the ring one time and that was it. We'll be back here in a moment. We'll have more new more action for you after we have this word from the studios.